Hello, class. Well, today's practice is about breakfast. A big breakfast. This is part 5A. Before we start, make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get to it. Everybody, look at the pictures A, B, C, D, E. Reorder the letters to make food and drink words. Okay? So make food and drink words with these letters. Order them. Very good. And match them to the photos A to E. So make the words and match them. Take your time. Do it. Very good. If you're ready, let's check together. Shall we? 5.1 1D T 2E Cheese 3A Orange juice 4B Sandwich 5C Eggs Well done! Very good! You did great! A good start, but let's make it more interesting. Food and drink. I need you to listen and repeat the words. Your turn. 5.2 Food and drink. 1. Fish. 2. Meat. 3. Pasta. Four. Rice. Five. Eggs. Six. Yogurt. Seven. Vegetables. Eight. Potatoes. Nine. Salad. 10. Fruit. 11. Bread. 12. Butter. 13. Cheese. 14. Sugar. 15. A sandwich. 16. Cereal. 17. Chocolate. 18. Coffee. 19. Tea. 20. Milk. 21. Water. 22. Orange juice. Perfect. Just perfect. Now, I need you to listen and repeat the words in the box. This box. Let's do it. 5.3 Meals Breakfast Lunch Dinner Verbs Have Eat Drink I have breakfast at 8 o'clock. I have cereal and coffee. I eat a lot of fruit. I drink tea with milk. Okay, very good everybody. Just pay attention. Look, we have three meals. Breakfast in the morning, lunch in the afternoon, and dinner in the evening. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Breakfast and lunch together, Brunch. Very good. I have breakfast at 8 a.m. I have cereal and coffee. So you can use have for drinks like coffee. I have coffee or food. I have fish. Very good. And you can use eat for food only. I eat fish. I eat meat. And drink for drinks only. I drink coffee. I drink tea. That's all there is to it. Very good.
all the way to my favorite part. Reading and speaking. A good breakfast. Is it important? For the first part, look at the photos and read the article and comments. Who thinks breakfast is important? And who says it's not important? Well, it's your turn. I'll wait. A few moments later. Okay, check your answers with your friends. So, Ashley, Paolo and Sakura think that breakfast is important and of course Rob thinks that breakfast is not important. Very good for the first part. Now I need you to complete the comments with a food and drink words. Okay? For example, look CR, croissant. Alright? Take your time and do it. I'll wait again. A few minutes later. Very nice. Let's listen and check. Do it with me. Let's do it. 5.4 Ashley, the U.S. I have breakfast in a great cafe near my office. I have a croissant and coffee. An espresso with hot milk. Mmm, I love breakfast. It's my favorite meal. Paulo, Brazil. I have breakfast at home, but I don't have a big breakfast. I have fruit and yogurt and sometimes toast. It's a healthy breakfast. That's a good thing at the beginning of the day. Rob, Canada. I don't eat in the morning. I'm not hungry. I just have a coffee at work. But I have lunch early. At about 11.30. Sakura, Japan. I really like breakfast. It's an important meal for Japanese people. I have breakfast at home with my family. We have a traditional breakfast. It isn't very different from lunch and dinner. We have rice, fish, and miso soup, and we drink green tea. We don't drink coffee with a traditional Japanese breakfast. Well done. Very good. Now, is breakfast important for you? What do you have? Where do you have it? At home, at work, at school? Speak with your friends. Speak it out. Well, that was a very good discussion about breakfast. Personally, I don't have breakfast in the morning. I'll just have a cup of coffee and I go directly to work. What about you? Very good. Now, everybody, grammar, simple presence. Let's do it together with me. Ashley says, I have breakfast in a great cafe. Sakura, I really like breakfast. We have a traditional breakfast. Now, the negative. Look, Paolo, I don't have a big breakfast. I don't eat in the morning. Sakura says, we don't drink coffee with a traditional Japanese breakfast. So, simple present. Positive and negative. Follow me. Everyone, listen. Let's do it. 5.5 I have cereal for breakfast. I don't have eggs for breakfast. You have rice for lunch. You don't have pasta for lunch. We have coffee for breakfast. We don't have tea for breakfast. They have fish for dinner. They don't have meat for dinner. Very good. Very nice. So, look, use simple present to talk about habits. Or general things, okay? General things that you do. For example, as for, as for habit, look, I go to the gym every day. I run in the morning every day, okay? I go to work every day, all right? I have breakfast, I have coffee for breakfast and things that are, are for things that are always true, okay? For example, in my country, we eat a lot of rice. For the negative, you use don't. 
I don't have X. You don't have. We don't have. They don't have. Just like that. For example, they have fish for dinner. They don't have meat. Very good. Not bad. Now, I need you to practice with me, of course. Let's get to it. Time to show me what you got. Everybody, I have two exercises for you. Write positive or negative sentences. For example, look, we have. We have sandwiches for lunch. I not like. I don't like fish. Just like the example. And B, complete the bold verbs. These are the bold verbs like have, eat, drink, go. All right? Complete with the bold verbs. Write one positive sentence and one negative sentence. All right? For example, look, like. I'm American, but I don't like burgers. My friend and I like fast food, especially pizzas and burgers. Just like the example. Stop the video. Take your time. Do it yourself, my friend. You're very smart. You have great potential. Believe in yourself. I've got your back. I told you. I will make your English perfect. If you're ready, well, let's do it. I have eggs. I have eggs for breakfast. We don't drink coffee in the evening. They like chocolate. You eat meat. We eat rice in the evening. I don't have sugar in my coffee. You don't like cheese. The children eat vegetables. Very good. Now, positive or negative sentences have. People in the U.S. don't have a big lunch. They usually have a sandwich. We always have lunch with my family on Sundays. Eat. I don't eat meat. I'm a vegetarian. Uh-oh. They eat a lot of fish and rice in Japan. Very good. Drink. You drink a lot of coffee. It isn't good for you. And they don't drink coffee. They only drink tea. Go. We don't go to restaurants. They're very expensive. I don't have breakfast at home. I go to a cafe. And that's all there is to it for the grammar exercises. Well done. You are fantastic. My smart friends. You can see the headphones, right? It's time to listen. Listen to Anna. All right, Anna. Talk about her favorite meal. Complete her column in the chart. All right. Very good. This is her column. Favorite meal. Dinner. Where? Food. Drink. Listen and write. Just for Anna. Just for Anna. Let's do it. 5.6 Anna My favorite meal of the day is dinner. I usually have dinner at home, but sometimes I have dinner at a restaurant. I usually have meat or fish and vegetables. And if I'm at a restaurant, I have a cup of coffee. Okay, very good. If you need, you can rewind and listen again multiple times. Let's check. So her favorite meal is dinner. Where? At home or at a restaurant. Okay. Favorite food. Meat or fish and vegetables. Drink a cup of coffee. Well done. Now we have Will and Sarah. Do the same. Listen and complete the information. Favorite meal, wear, food, drink. Let's do it. 5.7 Will Your turn. My favorite meal of the day is lunch. I'm always hungry then. I have lunch at work. We have a cafeteria there. I have different things for lunch, but always with french fries. I love french fries. Sometimes a burger and french fries, sometimes fish and french fries. I drink water with my lunch, but after lunch, I have a coffee and espresso. 
Okay. Sarah. Sarah. My favorite meal of the day is breakfast. I usually have it at home, but on Wednesdays I have my yoga class, and I have breakfast at a cafe near the yoga studio. At home I have fruit and an egg, and coffee or tea. But at the cafe I have a muffin and hot chocolate. All right, awesome. You can rewind and listen again. Check your answers with your friends. Yeah. So with lunch at work, different things, but with French fries and water, and then a coffee. Breakfast is Sarah's favorite meal. Usually at home on Wednesdays at a cafe, and for food. Fruit and an egg on Wednesdays, a muffin.、Mm. A drink, coffee or tea on Wednesdays, hot chocolates. Very good. Now I ask you, what's your favorite meal of the day? Speak to your friends, just like this. What's your favorite meal? Where do you eat it? Your favorite food and drink. Again, speak it out. Very well, very well. All the way to part five. Pronunciation. Listen and repeat the words and sounds. J, G. Let's do it. Five point eight. Jazz. J, juice. Vegetables. Orange. Girl. G, sugar. Yogurt. Eggs. Great. Now everybody, look. Just listen first. Five point nine. I'm Jane. I like orange juice and vegetables. I'm Grace. I have eggs and coffee with sugar. Very good. Now pay attention. I'm Jane. J. I like orange juice. All right, and vegetables. I'm Grace. G. Uh oh. I have eggs and coffee with sugar. Okay. So G. J. Very good. You know the difference. Time to really speak. Everybody, first take your time. No rush. Food. You and your country. For example, I have breakfast at work. I have、hmm, menemen, the Turkish omelet for breakfast. I have lunch at work. I have dinner with my family. I eat a lot of meat. All right. I love.、Hmm, I love kebabs, especially doner kebabs. Very good. I don't like. Fish, of course. In my country, people have a very big breakfast. Do you know what Turkish breakfast is? Flawless victory. Yeah, that's us. And they have a big. What do they have? For, they have kebabs. They have doner kebabs. All right. And they don't eat a lot of、uh, vegetarian food, I guess. Yeah, I'm talking about Turkey. They eat a lot of meat. Beef, right? And they drink a lot of tea. Of course, tea in Turkey is very famous. Fill in the blanks and speak to your friend. What is your country like? Good discussion. Now commenting. Everybody, read Marco's comment. Do you, do you like his breakfast? Let's see. Let's chat. Today's question: Is breakfast important for you? What do you have? Where do you have it? All right. So this is Mark Los Angeles from United States. Seven minutes ago, he said breakfast is very important for me. I have fruit, usually an orange or an apple. Then I have milk, orange and milk, cereal, and a glass of orange juice. I usually have breakfast at home, but on weekends I have it at a cafe near my house. I think my breakfast is very healthy. So what do you think? I didn't like it because you know I live in Turkey 
and Turkey has one of the best breakfasts in the world. Very good. Now, look at these highlighted words. Look at these highlighted words. Or, and, but. Okay? So, let's use them. I eat fish, but I don't eat meat. Do you have tea or coffee for breakfast? I have a brother and a sister. Very good. Now, I need you to take your time. Write your comment. Write a comment about your breakfast and read it to your partner. It's all yours. Last set. Just a little review. Listen and repeat. That's it. 5.10 A scientist. A doctor. Sometimes. Usually. I'm not hungry. Early. Healthy. Traditional. Important. Different. Favorite. In a cafe. At home. At work. Soup. Green tea. Toast. A lot of. Very good. Everybody, I need you to write sentences with these words. Okay? Show the sentences to your friends. Read the sentences to your friends. That's it. Another practice done. Everybody, you can download the slides from the caption and the description part. If you have any question, you can comment down below and I will get back to you. And if you like my work, make sure to like and subscribe. You can always become a member and support our project. Or you can always send us a super thanks. I promise to make your English perfect as long as I live. Thank you for watching, everybody. See you until next time. Bye-bye.